Getting results, we told you about a Houston area man who reached out to us after he bought an item online but received a different one and was still charged for the original one. Tonight, KPRC 2's Rowan Logan helped him solve his problem. I just clicked on it because that's exactly what she wanted. And I clicked on it, placed the order. I didn't realize it was a third party seller. I called the seller. Hello? That was me on Monday, getting answers for a man who thought he bought a Nintendo Switch on Walmart's website, but instead getting something completely different from a third party seller. After our story, Walmart contacted him to make things right. I don't think that I would have gotten anywhere without doing the story. Michael Morrison said he's been made whole after he was out nearly $400 trying to get his daughter a Christmas gift. I, I tried everything. I, I filed uh, complaints with the Better Business Bureau in New York. I filed uh, a report with Walmart several times, filed a uh, dispute on American Express to dispute the charge. What made you reach out to us? Frustration. <laughs> I, I felt like nothing was going to happen. After our story aired Monday evening, I received an email from a Walmart employee wanting to connect with Michael because she said she wanted to help. In the email, she said doing the right thing is the only thing. Walmart really does try to resolve each situation as it occurs, but things do fall through the crack and it took Channel 2 to bring this to light. Walmart cares about our neighborhood community. It's, it's getting to that right person and like without y'all, I don't think I would ever got there because I was trying, it had been a month. So Michael, you said you got an email from Walmart saying that that third party seller is no longer on their website or Correct. are not able to sell. Correct. Is there a way we can go check that? Yes. It's like verify it, let's do that. Uh, prior to today, it had all the items that they were still selling and now you can't buy anything from Vickers Toys. And Walmart told you that they were looking into them? They were investigating them. Uh, so minutes before going live tonight, we double checked Walmart's website. That third party seller no longer available on the website at all. Their page has been taken down. Now that Walmart rep we've spoken to throughout this week, along with the Better Business Bureau, tells us that if this happens to you, the best thing to do is make sure you're documenting everything along the way and to remain persistent. Keep reaching out to that company until they give you the refund you're owed. Live in Sugar Lane, Roman Belogan, KPRC, 2 News.